850 on the line right now. She is Lee Sweel. And from Fox News, of course, each week she takes a look at three legal stories making the headlines. And we love this segment. I do anyway. The other guys. At least they may not like it, but oh, I do. stop. I'm, oh, I'm all man. about you. Come on, you guys. All right. So let's start out with school district installs fingerprint scanner in the cafeteria. What's this all about? Yeah, these are little fifth graders, right? They go in, you know, and you pop on in, and my mom and dad give you your lunch money, and they, they kind of pull out their pockets, right? And they lost their lunch money, or they traded it on something else, or whatever. And so what the school says, look, we'll put your little thumb skis down there, and you don't have to worry about your lunch money, because mom or dad will put it in there. And these biometrics, they can do all this stuff. And But there's some privacy concerns, because once the little thumb is in there for the lunch money, yeah, that's great, but the thumb is print is always there. So, oh. Right. I mean, down the road, the FBI, that's okay, I guess. Ooh, you could commit a crime, but um, anybody potentially could get that thumb. And when you grow up, no matter how old you get, you know, anybody bad or good could get that thumbprint down the road look if it were my kid i i wouldn't want that i'd take the chance that they don't have lunch money for a day I and mean, that sounds right, terrible. Right. Yeah. but I, I just I, I there's so many privacy concerns already in our world do i really want my kid to have one more thing that his thumb for the rest of his life could, yeah you know, be out there. I just, I don't like that. I just don't want one more invasion of privacy yeah. for my kids. And where is this again? Where is this school? This is, oh my gosh. I don't see the state. District 304, which is where? Illinois. There we Illinois. go. Illinois. Okay. Geneva right. Unit District 304, Illinois. Crazy. Um, so I just don't like it. The, the, the other thing is, you know, you asked me about the law. The law is very general in this. There, there are lots of issues. You know, when you talk about HIPAA, for example, um, confidential information like in governing HIPAA, well, there's a lot of law there, but very general when it comes yeah. to biometric technology. It's so new. Yeah, and yeah. Law, law is really old. It takes a lot of time for legal, you know, to law. To Catch up with the technology, up. yeah. Yeah, so it's, there's very little law on biometric technology. I just, as a parent, not as a lawyer, would be very nervous about yeah, letting my I kids agree. Yeah. Um, be technology, no reason technology for it. like yep. that. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to change the order of the topics. I want to yeah. end with two, but we'll hit you with the uh, Kansas yeah. City man claims to be late singer's son and legal heir to his fortune, uh, Prince. For, with Prince, yeah. yeah. Okay, so there's a mom out there who says she has sex with Prince way, way back, and now in the, in the 70s. And, and, and she gave birth to this kid who now is Prince's son. She's very detailed about the sex, where and when it happened. Okay, well, they have a DNA test. So they should test, t- test very quickly whether or not this is Prince's biological son. Prince was cremated, as you know, but they kept a vial of his blood. So the DNA test should test very, be able to test very quickly if, if, if this is really Prince's son. Um, so Big Man Boom, that should be able to be done very quickly. The son, you know, the, the imputed son is in prison right now, so yeah. he's not going anywhere. Um, look, can I just make a very quick public service announcement? Yeah. Prince died without a will. Yeah, you know, people, you're right. You know, you're, I mean, let's face it, like taxes, you are going to die at some point. It doesn't take a fancy lawyer. You can write it on the side of a napkin. You know, go to, take it down to your local chase. Have them notarize it. Have two people there that are not, you know, going to get anything um, from the will, not yeah, going to yeah. receive anything. And then you're done. I know it's distasteful. It's, no one wants to think about it. Just say, I am, you know, competent to sign this, and there's, here's where I want my stuff to go. Boom. Yeah. And then just sign it. Have two people wave off on it. That's it. You're done. Put it in a drawer, and you're done. Just do it. And then Prince didn't do that. Right, All right. this would have been, you know, taken care of if he'd just done that. I uh, completely agree. I'm, I'm in the process right now of actually Good. putting one together so that I know where I'm leaving my debt. Uh, finally, we'll <laughs> leave. <laughs> we'll Your heirs are so happy. Here, yeah. Here, take yeah. All right. Uh, here's the uh, staying with sex. This is a really yeah. interesting one. Oral sex with someone who's intoxicated and possibly unconscious 
not a crime, according to the high court in Oklahoma. In Oklahoma. Now, yeah. Oklahoma is realizing this is a horrible thing. It's antiquated. They're going to change the law. It's already in the works in Oklahoma. But, yeah, Oklahoma's highest court has old law that says, yeah, if the person, this is a horrible case between a 17-year-old boy and a 16-year-old girl. And because of the way the law is written, currently written in Oklahoma, yeah. the way that it's written, um, yeah, because the girl was so intoxicated that she was unconscious, one of these one of these horrible cases where the girl you know goes to a party and it's a typical thing where they're both drinking vodka um, they said because she was unconscious that you know he couldn't have actually raped her um, or no. had oral sex with her because well, she was unconscious. Well we know that, that that he that he could have well, yeah, I mean, I, mean, this I is think, crazy. of course, and, they, and yeah. they're scrambling because they realize this is yeah. a national embarrassment. I, I, this is such a tough issue because there are cases where, um, unfortunately, a young lady gets involved and she then yeah. regrets it and then blames the alcohol and now the boy is holding, holding the bag there. I mean, I, I think that this is a very touchy issue. It is. Uh, but if the it, it, girl again, is no, unconscious. It's really turning into a public service announcement to, yeah. this segment, isn't it? It's I like, guess it is, yeah. Our kids, it's like, come, just don't put yourself. Yeah. I mean, but it's like, especially vodka. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like, with, <laughs> really, it's a public service. Because I, can you tell I have two kids? Yeah. Um, with beer, it's like, you have to drink a lot of beer. Right, But right. the vodka, especially these little kids, they don't weigh that much, especially the girls. I mean, they weigh, you sure. know, 100, 110 pounds soaking. I mean, you know, they they. Start taking those vodka shots and bang! It hits you, yeah. They're yeah, bleh, yeah. Uh, before they know it, and uh, I, you know. But look, I, I'm, I'm, I can preach until you know we can know. preach until yeah. Sunday, and no one's going to hear us. Yeah, at the end of the day, um, God forbid, if they, if either one party is unconscious, yeah. that should be a no brainer, right? Correct. It really is. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just so. Right. And we, it's, it happens again and again and it again. Does. Yeah. And, uh, uh, all right. Just, well, okay. It is what uh, it is. But so they're going to change that law. Yes. Oh, yeah. In Oklahoma, yeah. they're going to change that law. But no, they oh, yeah. Absolutely yeah. antiquated law. All right, Lise. As always, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks so all much. Right, have a great day. It's a beautiful right. day here in New York. It is upstate as well. Thank you. All right. Take okay. care.